So to get a grade nine, you need the right resources. So here are the best resources you can use to secure your grade nine. Let's start off with the fifth best resource, which is Seneca Learning. Now Seneca Learning is very commonly used by so many GCSE students, where there's just information on the topic and questions, simple questions to quiz you. But I feel like the best subject to use Seneca for is English, language and literature, because unlike other subjects, the information it gives is so much more useful and it displays it as mind maps. So you've got the analysis and then it gives you key points and extra information to add and how it relates to the themes or characters. So super useful to make your own notes out of them and the reason why it's been preferred by 2.5 million GCSE English students is because of the new and improved AI system so when you start English language for the first time give you a test to complete and it'll find your strengths and weaknesses and identify your knowledge score so then once you know this knowledge score you can improve on it and then it's really effective in your revision now the fourth best resource has to be corporatemaths.com and trust me it's way better than you think it is if you didn't know corporate maths is basically a maths website consisting of videos and websites and the videos are quite old but i think the person explains it super well because if you don't understand the concept and you watch the video then the concept will seem so simple he explains it super quickly as well so you're covered for that and the website consists of so many practice questions which you need to do to be successful in math. This worksheets for every single topic in the GCC maths course. So you're basically covered for that as well. Now let's move on to physics and math tutor, which isn't like Seneca learning where it tracks your progress through quizzes, but it's more of an amazing revision resource website because it contains the essentials like past papers and topic questions. But my favorite bits are the summary notes, which condenses all your lessons down into a few pages and also the amazing flashcards. So if you're into flashcards, then I would highly recommend you use them. Now the problem with the flashcards on this website is that the layout isn't too nice and it doesn't make you want to revise that much as well. I would probably tell you to just copy those flashcards onto Anki or Quizlet, whichever one you use, and then you'll feel more comfortable using those flashcards. Okay, so now we're in the second best resource that you can use for your GCSEs. So you might have heard of Cognito. He makes videos on GCSE maths and GCSE science on YouTube. And personally, I think his GCSE science videos are the best videos you can see. But what if I told you he's also made a platform where you've got these videos with questions to track your progress and customizable quizzes as well on however many topics you want to assess yourself on and also past papers. Well, this is all located on cognitoedu.org. It's a free website created by him and it's all based on helping you in GCSE maths and sciences. And it's been a game changer for me in improving my grades. And I would highly recommend it to you if you haven't already used it yourself. All right, so this is the best resource for GCSEs and A-levels. So I bet you've heard of CGP books, but have a listen to why, in my opinion, I think you should never reconsider any other revision guide. Now, CGP are the best books when it comes to making the content understandable because they'll make something difficult like mitosis or monoclonal antibodies seem so simple because they just get straight to the point. Even throughout your revision, you'll even see some jokes in these revision guides to keep you focused. And even if you don't get the exam practice books with these revision guides, you'll still get an exam question at the end of each page and revision summary questions at the end of each topic. And this only comes out to be five pounds. I mean, my pocket money is more than that. So if you buy the CGP books, then trust me, you'll be covered for your GCSE course. Now, the only disadvantage with CGP books is that they don't include exam vocab in some sentences. And I know that isn't good, but if you use Cognito's website during your revision with these CGP books, then you'll have all the exam terminology you need for the exam. And so you'll be truly covered when it comes to your GCSE resources. I wanna give some honorable mentions to Save My Exams, all the English revision websites and BBC Bite Size because these are also excellent revision websites that you can use. I'll try to leave as many revision resources that I find in the description. Thank you so much for watching this whole video if you made it all the way through. Subscribe if you haven't already because I wanna reach 5K by the end of the year and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.